Allahu Akbar. Uh, I have two things in mind. First one is how much of our social media and our data does the FBI really have access to, or the U.S. government perhaps? And my second one, which is a bit of a more complex question, I guess, is uh, I was reading up on the Patriot Act online, and they're saying something along the lines that because like, you don't have constitutional rights at that point, such as the Fifth Amendment, so you know, as an attorney, can you explain more about that? So real quick, um, social media. Listen, my advice to the entire community, there's no such thing in my opinion uh, as digital privacy, right? Just assume anything you communicate digitally is copied to multiple governments. Um, inshallah, there's some things like Signal, Telegram, WhatsApp, Debatable, you know, that, that have a level of secure communication. But, you know, Facebook is probably the, you know, the, the, the best gift for intelligence agencies. I mean, they could literally track your whole life. With your phone, you know, people can track your entire life, uh, where you are, how long you spend. Right now, if you give me your phone, I get to tell you exactly where you were yesterday and for how long you went to each location. So just assume everything uh, digitally communicated is preserved. And it's okay, because as Muslims, we already know we got angels, right? Writing everything down and this is sort of a hard copy of it so in case we didn't believe earlier how it was possible now we know how it's possible from a t technological perspective so just assume everything is recorded and my humble advice to all of you is ask yourself why do you post what you post that selfie are you putting it to show off your beauty and if so is that pleasing your creator or is that displeasing your creator that that tweet are you putting to show how knowledgeable you are or are you really doing to share knowledge I'm really worried about how our own social media will be judged for by our creator. So I'm not even worried about the government. I'm worried about our creator and how we're using our social media. Are we using it to show off? Are we using it to gain popularity? That's all of the nefs. That's all for other than God, you know. So use social media wisely. Recognize that it's a public record forever. Even if you delete it, it's out there. So, but use it wisely to promote positive, constructive messages. Right? To show the goodness of our community, to show what we're about, to share the beauty of our faith, to speak out against injustice, to tell stories that we heard tonight, to empower and educate and recognize, yes, the government has a copy, but so what, as long as you're using it responsibly. And the second part of your question was? Oh, the Patriot Act. Generally, the, the, the provisions that you're talking about, inshallah, are, aren't generally applicable to most of the situations. I would say no matter what, just assume, especially on U.S. soil, that you have a Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. And don't let anybody talk you out of that. And don't worry, before you can talk yourself into trouble, we will find you. Your lawyers will find, if you disappear uh, and it's happened, we will find you and we'll, 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 get, we'll take care of you. Just remain silent. You can, you can never go wrong by keeping your mouth shut. Only the fish that open their mouth get caught by the fishermen. Remember that. <laughs>